Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I hope you're having a great day so far, and I hope you're ready for another episode of Unlocking Excellence. I'm your main man. My name is Coach Eric Schwefel, and I am looking so forward to this podcast, right? So I don't know if you've heard of it before, but there's these two different types of mindsets that are compared with each other. It's the fixed mindset and it's the growth mindset. Now, without going into a crazy amount of detail on each one and the, the principles behind it and the, the findings and the research and all that kind of stuff, without going into all that kind of stuff, I want to give you a brief description on what the fixed mindset is and what the growth mindset is, right? And we, we can go a little bit more into this too. Um, you may, so if you listened to a few of our earlier episodes, this is playing off of our mindset of the circle person, the zigzag person, and the straight line, right? So with that being said, the fixed mindset person, for me also is very similar to the person with the victim mentality and the victim consciousness, right? The fixed mindset, what they believe is this is the way that things are. I can't change it. I have no power in the sense of I cannot elicit or, or act in such a way to change the outcome of what's happening, right? It's, I also like to call it, and this may be a stretch for some people, may not, whatever, the employee mindset, right? you agree to certain conditions, you agree to certain compensation, and with that agreement, you also agree to listen and to serve somebody um, who not necessarily is greater than you, right, but who has created something, right? So you work for a boss, a boss pays you, right? That's the employee mindset. If the boss tells you to do something, you do it because you're getting paid, right? Now, if the boss says that you can't do something, then you can't do it because he pays you, right? So you are at the whim of the boss. You are at the whim of somebody else in this instance because of the agreement that you chose to make. Now, there's the growth mindset on the opposite side, right? Now, the growth mindset tends to come from the place of having a blank blank slate in front of you, right? So it's you you approach something new every single day. You aren't left to the circumstances or the assumptions of the past. It's, this is a new day. This is a new time where I can make choices. This is a, a time where new decisions can come in and new things can happen. The growth mindset not only looks at how this situation is affecting me, but it also looks at how can I affect the situation. It takes into consideration that it that the mindset takes into consideration that it is a variable in the outcome rather than an observer of the outcome right i like to think of the growth mindset as the creator consciousness the creator mindset and then as the entrepreneur mindset as the business owner mindset and the reason for that is because the growth mindset the boss mindset the ceo whatever it assumes responsibility and it assumes ownership. It's the leadership mindset, not the follower mindset. Set the follower mindset. It's the victor mindset, the champion mindset over the victim, right? Mindset. And there was a really good example the other day of how this came up in life. I was walking outside of my house and I saw my neighbor asked him how he was doing. Now, this was a few weeks ago, right? When the quarantine started, when lockdown started. And I asked him, you know, we don't know each other. We don't talk or anything. So I said, hey, man, how you going? How, how you doing? How's everything going? He answered back. Everything was going pretty good. And I asked how he was affected by the virus. And he told me that he was a driver for a company. And that company wasn't letting him drive anymore. They had shut down because of the virus. And I said, man, that sucks. So you're not working, huh? And he said, no, he's not working. And I asked what he was doing throughout the day and how he was spending his time if he was looking to find another job. You know, I'm, I'm a curious fellow. And almost the exact words were he'd, he'd just been farting around with his brother-in-law all day, going fishing or playing or whatever it might be. That's what he was doing. Totally cool. This is the choice the guy made, right? 
he seemed to be kind of down about it. He seemed to be, you know, this is just kind of what, how I'm spending my time. I'm waiting for things to get better. And I was like, okay, you know, that's cool. And he asked about me and I told him I'm a gym owner. I'm doing online training. If he knows anybody that's interested to give me a referral, I said, all right, cool, cool, cool. Not even kidding with you. Later on that day, I talked to a friend of mine who I went uh, through a training with and I asked how he was doing, how everything was going and how he had been affected. And he said he was looking for a job right now. I said, okay, well, is there anything in particular that you're looking for? How can I be of service? And made a Facebook post for him. We got to talking and I found out, you know, there's, there are so many jobs out there right now. Target's hiring, Walmart's hiring, all these other businesses were hiring. I think there were like 15 some odd comments and told the guy about it and he said, yeah, I'll definitely look for a job and I'll, I'll keep up with the post. I said, great. So well, how about the business that you're looking to start? And he told me a little bit about the business that he was, he was looking to start and hearing about his ambition and hearing about how he's moving forward really got me thinking, right? Like the, how the two mindsets come into play. We can, we can have the mindset of we're going to wait for, this virus to be over, we're gonna wait until things get back to normal in order to start acting like we're normal and to start getting back in shape or to make more money or to get the health that you want. You can, you can do that. And then there's the other approach too, right? Which is a little bit more of the growth mindset is despite all this stuff happening, I'm still going to move forward. If I lost my job, I'm gonna find another job. It's not gonna be a thing it's gonna happen if it's not the job that I want right away then I'm willing to do that and to make money in order to get the job that I want one day right there's no shame in taking out the trash like as a business owner you really start to realize that right like if your employees or if you aren't willing to pick up the trash to pick up the litter off the ground or anything like that even when you become a, a big CEO then well, you won't become a big CEO if you don't do that, right? You have to be aware of the details of the litter of the trash. You have to be aware of the things that other people aren't aware of. You've got to be willing to do whatever it takes in order to get to that spot. And sometimes that means putting other people first. Sometimes that means picking up the trash. And sometimes that means doing really humbling activity. <clears throat> Excuse me. And sometimes that means doing really humbling activities in order to bring you to that next level of where you want to go. So this isn't to really popularize one mindset over another, but it's to call into question, what mindset are you operating from right now? Are you operating from a little bit of each? Are you operating from a majority growth or a majority fixed? And then it's to call into question, is that something that you want to keep doing? Do you like the way that it feels? Do you like the way that it, it's going? Or is that something you want to change? So my friends, that is the way that we are going to unlock excellence today. It's going to be by asking questions in order to expand awareness. Because awareness really is the first key to change. You, don't, you, you won't change if you don't know that you need to change. So... Not every situation puts us it at gives us the opportunity to change, right? Sometimes we have to put ourselves in uncomfortable situations and uncomfortable places to elicit that growth. So I urge that for you too, my friends. I urge you to do things that make you uncomfortable, take cold showers, hear opinions of people that you don't agree with, look to understand the other's mindset and opinion and look to deliver compassion in every which way that you can. I love you. I hope you have a great day. You are unstoppable. And look, we are international. So I would love it if you listen this far and you got something out of it. I would love it if you could share this thing out. You are unstoppable. Until next time, keep unlocking excellence. Peace.